hello guys welcome to solving solutions you're on the bound channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's video we are going to show you how to use one of the geo processing tools um under vector data or let's say under vector right good now we have um, a set of um, vector data here yeah? we have um two data which is okay this the combo and then we also have a larger one which was um the parent um, data from which the combo was extracted what we want to do is that we want to dissolve the different features inside of this vector data into one so we now have a composite word vector so let's come to vector we go to geoprocessing tools and then we come to dissolve now let's just have a brief description of what it does this algorithm takes a vector layer and combines their features into new features right good now that is just the summary of what we want to do it combines it takes a vector data and combines the officials into a new feature so let's start by using the first one which is the composite the grid nigeria data which is the boundary data then we want to dissolve everything we are going to just leave it as a scratch layer and then every other parameter will be left at default and then we click on run now sometimes you are going to need this if your area maybe the study area you want to work with cuts across what multiple features let's say you are trying to work on maybe regional maybe boundary and then you know the region has more than one state yeah you can decide to use that or to merge that and then you definitely ought to dissolve rather here yeah, to dissolve that and then you definitely have what a composite like this right now this is for the um the boundary data that's um, for the old country now we decided to bring out let's say we decided to um select a few out of it which is this and then you can still see what the boundaries of the different features right now let's still come back the output geometry will be converted to multi geometries in case the input is a multi is a polygon layer common boundaries of adjacent being dissolved we get erased right good now the other part of it is that in case the input is a polygon layer common boundaries of adjacent polygons being dissolved will be what will be erased now that is the idea you know let's say this particular state let's assume that they are coastal states or whatever the case is you know and then we want to show them in our presentation and we don't want the boundaries to be indicated we can decide to still use what it dissolve if you would want to show them that way anyway we can decide to use this dissolve you know keep all of that parameters as default and then we just um, run right good now when we run we have what a composite what or let's say a dissolved layer that all the boundaries have been erased all right good so now this was what the combo that we are not saying they are coastal states but we want to assume that these are coastal states that we have extracted from what the um, the composite boundary and what we want to do now is I want to dissolve them, which we have actually what achieved. So if you have been able to do that, you can just go ahead, maybe continue to change what the symbology to whatever you would prefer, and then you know leave the color to your choice. Let's use blue or thereabout, apply, and then we click on OK. Right, good. So if you take this out, you now have what this. Um, um, coastal states in quote that are now joined together which you can use in your presentation remember all our files are saved what as scratch layer if you want to save them to your file you just um, click on this um, option save to file and then you navigate to the folder you want to save it and then you save them there which will make you have access to them subsequently so yes thanks for coming to class we open we have shown you how to use what the 
geoprocessing tools under um, vector, the dissolve um, geoprocessing tool under vector um, in two different instances and perhaps if you would see other applications of it. So we are going to see you on our next video. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.